I Good. Know. Pierre and I met probably eight years ago. Probably. When yeah. I was still a banker at Lehman. <laughs> and it's quite interesting. If you look at internet, you have success stories in many, many places. And the Americans, especially Google, Amazon, and eBay, kind of have success all around the planet. But then there's there are some examples, like France, where Pierre managed with his prime minister to create a success story without the help of internationals. And he sold it to Rakuten, which is a big Japanese success story. And we met around that time. Exactly. I, you want me to talk a little bit? Cause talk you, a little yeah, bit because about you, you ran a bit. <laughs> it's a bit I, I can see it's a bit difficult. I just summarize. Um, yeah, no, I mean, not much. Sure. So basically, yeah, we, we founded, uh, I founded Price Minister in 2000, uh, made it the um, top three e-commerce sites in France, um, B2B, B2B2C and C2C, but at that time, mostly C2C marketplace, uh, sold it to Rakuten in 2010. Um, and, um, was it a public figure you sold it for? Or? Yeah, total was 250 million euros. Um, and, um, and we had a five years contract, very quite unusual, so five years on out contract. In Japan, they like lang longer contracts. No? Yeah, I mean, they could have, you know, they could have asked, they were asking for, for longer. And we, it, it, it was a very difficult situation because if they ask you know, for 10 years and you, ask, you tell them five years, they feel that five years is so short. Whereas, of course, as a European, five years it seems very long. Um, and actually, in the end, we did four years, uh, but we got paid for five, which is, uh, which is fine. And basically, um, I think four years was a, maybe a bit long as an on-out period, but uh, very happy about the, the transition we've made. And I didn't want to leave the business too quickly anyway. So and I heard recently, I'm not sure I should say that on stage, but I heard recently from somebody else that this was a great deal for Rakuten and probably one of the better ones they did. Yes, so I'm happy and, and unhappy at the same time about that. Um, but yeah, they, they're very happy about their acquisition, which basically is a good thing. Also unhappy bec because maybe it means we could have maybe sold um, at a better price. But in the end, uh, you know, we're happy about the price. And, and the thing is, they show us as, example of, um, as an example of good, um, good integration in the group. Um, and what we've done since we sold, uh, and I left in May, but, um, so I don't know anymore, I kind of don't know. But until uh, in May, we had multiplied by five um, the uh, gross merchandise sales. By five? Yeah, in four years. So, uh, that, so that's pretty good for Rakuten, yeah. That's amazing. Career. And I remember from our talks before May that um, it used to be kind of a bit of an eBay model, or 80% was consumer to consumer, and you, sw you switched it because Rakuten loves to serve merchants, professionals. So what is it now, roughly? So yeah, the vision when we started in 2000 was to build um, somewhere between um, eBay and Amazon. But at that time, ha Amazon had no Amazon marketplace. And, and actually, we basically, in the end, we basically like the Amazon marketplace, but we were mostly C2C when we got bought by Rakuten, two-thirds C2C. Um, and no price minister is like almost 80% B2B2C. And that's a, a big switch we organized um, from 2010. So 80% of your sellers are professional. Exactly, yeah. So Basically, when we sold, I mean, just before selling, we, we thought we had to go to the B2B2C market, but we thought it would be difficult to finance because basically um, the, the cut, the commission we take on C2C is twice uh, the, the one we take on B2B2C. And of course, B2B2C is a, is a deeper market, um, but it's uh, quite, um, cost, uh, quite costly to acquire a merchant. So basically, you pay more to acquire the merchant than to acquire the individual sellers, and then you take half the commission. So we kind of needed financing for that. Although we were um, making 15 million euros of EBIT in 2010, um, we still thought we don't want to you know, bring our EBIT to zero and turn around the business. That was a lot, a lot of things to do. And so we were happy to uh, be approached by Rakuten because their main business in Japan um, is actually B2B2C marketplace. Yeah. They, they make about $1, $1 billion uh, EBIT. Uh, so it's a very big business. And they're worth like 20 billion dollars or yeah, something like uh, this? That's one of the biggest companies that people uh, don't know about. Also, that was very true four years ago. Now they become, they get more and more known in Europe, I think. But still, I think they're also the PayPal of Japan or something like this. No, they do a lot of so finance. Not, not so well. They do a lot of finance. Not so much the PayPal. But they do. They do um, just yeah, online banking. Um, they, they do. Uh, they're number one in travel in Japan, and they're number one in plenty of strange things like um, golf, golf course booking, but very profitable. Uh, horse betting, horse ride betting. All these plenty of small things. They, they have 40 businesses there. It, it's it's. They have the brand, and then they have all these verticals, and they have these um, points that you can get if you buy in one vertical, you can use in another vertical. And it really works there. It's, it's very special. Wonderful, wonderful. And for you, almost five years with the Japanese, 
I mean, how was it? F I mean, I saw a lot of photos of Pierre standing among like a huge delegation <laughs> group of Japanese. You kind of were easy to recognize. Yeah. Uh, how, how was it? Um, I, okay, two ways to look at it. Um, I loved many things I loved. Um, I love the culture, actually. We, we, st we struck the deal with Mikitani-san, uh, Hiroshi Mikitani, uh, in a karaoke in Tokyo. Um, so that's, you know, that's a strange way to uh, sell a company, and I kind of liked it. Um, we basically... What time of the day it was? It was quite late, <laughs> as a thing, as a thing. Well, we early. didn't, we didn't do early. an evaluation yet, it was just about <laughs> the idea. So, so, so many things are very interesting. One of the interesting things also is, because they're very remote, um, we really had, you know, a lot of uh, autonomy, and, and I became CEO for, for well, basically head of Europe. So that was a, quite interesting for me to be, you know, more global than uh, just price minister. Um, so I like that. On the other, on the other side, it was barely, basically the first time I had a boss in my life. Um, and obviously, if you're not too, not used to having a boss, but he was something. really far away. Yeah, he, th he was probably one of the best bosses to have because he was very far and, and you know very uh, um, understanding. But still, he was a boss. So, so I think that for an entrepreneur, you know, getting used to that is a bit difficult. But, but really, was uh, he a happy boss? He must have been if you. He was happy about like gross merchant value by five. Yeah, he was very happy. Well, that's why he let kind of let us go, you know, a year, a year in advance, and we're still very good friends. And your take rate of the GMV, if you compare it like to Amazon and eBay, which is, I guess, all around the 10%, are you very different to them? Or? No, B2B2C is about 10%. Also. In Japan, um, the take rate, would, that means the, the, the just the commission would be much lower, but we would sell a lot of ads. Um, and in the end, it, it ends up being about 10%. I, I guess... I guess for some reason that's kind of the standard for B2B2C marketplaces. Yeah, especially know. for electronics. In terms of, of e-commerce. very lower, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, P for the one who don't know Pierre, I mean, he's probably one of the most, if not the most famous entrepreneur from France. And interestingly, I mean, if we think about French people working for Japanese uh, conglomerates, I mean, who could think this works, right? And you manage that. So what's next? Um, Good question. I mean, very personal. I, I'm going to answer very quickly, but I could, of course, uh, answer, you know, take some time because I, I thought a lot about, you know, what's the next challenge. I thought about... Uh, How old are you now? 37. So, so um, I thought about um, no challenge. I thought about just, you know, uh, uh, doing uh, free diving and, um, and uh, traveling around. And I got... Actually, I figured out I would get bored. Um, and I got bored in two months. So that was pretty efficient. Um, I did a lot of investments. I did about 40 investments and co-founded the uh, ISAI fund in France. The, the yeah. Um, for, for the basically, the funds for the you know uh, French uh, entrepreneurs, yeah. and it's doing very well, and we, we're very happy about it. Invested in Blabla Car that you um, uh, you interviewed Nicola earlier on, so we're very happy about that. But I realized that investing is not enough action. So now I'm looking to um, for the next company to build, um, and so I'm looking for ideas uh, if you have any. Um, but basically, I realized that. The, the phase I preferred in Price Minister was probably the first two years. And also, I loved all the journey. Um, it's really in the first two years that I was the most thrilled, you know, to wake up in the morning and, and run to the office to see, uh, to see, because uh, I had no smartphone at that time, to see the figures of the day before. So I really, um, yeah, I really want to, you know, experience that thrill again. So I'm, I'm looking at either, um, you know, doing just a company or probably doing a, a startup studio to look for the, the big company and, and, you know, why looking? Why not, you know, build um, build companies and not, not just, you know, not wait in a room looking for the idea? So that's, that's the idea, probably launching several companies um, and look for the next big thing. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for joining. Thank you. Uh, it needed to take a few years for you to come, finally, to <laughs> Noah. But uh, I hope you come back very soon. Thank you, Pierre. Thank you.